Chess friends, how are you? Seer Chess Engine is the most competitive and formidable engine in the world, today, we engage ourselves in the most epic and heroic chess game of all time, in this game, Seer sacrificed its queen against me, and the game is completely brilliant, so, let's dive into the ocean of chess, I started the game with e4, c5 and you can go with d4, there is an amazing line after d4 and c3, you sacrifice a pawn to open up the pieces lines and after knight f3. Black realizes that knight f6 would meet up with e5 threat so he played d6 to prevent that square, play bishop c4 and if he dare to play knight f6 now you can push your e pawn anyway, the point is that, after black captured the pawn with the knight, take take and we wouldn't capture the pawn, he will play the tricky move bishop f7, after you capture you will lose the queen, and in this position, some of you might capture the pawn with pawn but chess tricks never goes away. Knight b5 to fork up the pieces, rook b8 is the best but if black plays king d7 he will immediately fall in our crocodile trap as knight e5 and knight c7 leads into checkmate and my friends, like the video now because you are gonna learn something special thing in this video. In this position, I go with knight f3, Sia played the French defense because he loved to travel in Paris city, knight goes to c3 and here black could go with Bastrykov variation or four knights variation with knight f6 but he decided with a6, defending the camp from the enemies. Chess is a moral game, when you play best move, the game becomes a good thing, similar to life, in life you have to maintain your discipline, do the right thing in your life, and your life becomes an inspiration for someone in future, black played knight e7, preparing for b5 knight c6. After in a couple of moves, I played queenside castle, black played fumetto bishop setup and here comes f5, firing in the center, if black dares to capture the pawn, our seventh dimensional mind will be open after e takes f5, if black captured the free pawn because he loved to visit shopping malls more than eight times in a week, rook g1 followed by bishop f4 bishop to f3 will be considered by white, ah, and you can't take the bishop, because queen d7 will be a good buy for black. So queen c8 take take we continue our attack with f6, look at this integrity from white revolutionary pieces, just amazing like the French revolution, that has wrote a new history with golden words, the king needs to run and after knight takes f6, look at this iron man punch on black's face, knight f5 by black but after queen e5, it's too late too dangerous for black as I am threatening checkmate, threatening the pawn and the knight as well in the game. Black will completely lose the game because he can't defend his position at all and do you know a quote about life. You have to fight through some bad days to earn the best days of your life, so in this position, Seer played knight e6 because he practiced a lot. In his bad days to earn his good days, he tried to follow my queen but my queen is faster than his bishop running speed, we did a bishop exchanges and I am attacking the pawn, also I have the strategy to double up my rooks in this file, queen here rook f1, here you wouldn't believe that the best move for black is to play knight d4, something like bishop h5 g6, the pawn is pinned and you need to move back your bishop, rook c8 king b1 and here black can can actually sacrifice his rook on c3. This is grandmaster level strategy that you can sacrifice your rook when your opponent played long side castle, I made a particularly videos about this, you can watch that video by visiting in my channel, after takes knight b5, knight and queen are join attacking to the pawn, king c7 is the best move, but after knight takes c3 if you dare to save your rook by sliding away your rook, we will capture the pawn, the reason behind this is very simple as you open a bottle cap and drink water. You have to sacrifice your rook and after rook captured, queen a1 is the threat, so queen exchanges and g takes f5 from black, clap everyone because white is going to lose, black have majority of pawns and he is going to dance with the daughter of Russian ambassador in the Korean blue house. Oh yes, the past can hurt, but, you can either run from it or learn from it, back to the game, we have b5 instead of exercising the knight, king b1 and if you dare to attack quickly in the game, knight b4 and queen d2 can protect his queen side very well, nothing will happen until you have a good leader like Subos Chandra Bose or Steve Jobs, so rook c8 by black followed by a3 queen h4 queen g4 rook to c4 knight here and bishop h5, white's plan is to attack on the f7 pawn by any means. It is the only weakness in the black position, if he dares to play g6 then you can capture the pawn, 
and you wouldn't believe that you can actually sacrifice your bishop, you can actually play like Mikhail Tal, you can also play like Bobby Fischer, sacrificing the rook, what is the point, well you win the queen, in order to play like these great man, make sure you subscribe to my channel where we will get faith and motivation to play chess, learn chess and never give up like John Cena. In this position black played castle which is the best move actually. Here I could play something special, f6, black needs to play g6 then I will sacrifice my rook on d4 in order to bring my queen on g7 through visa card in foreign country and friends tell me which is the favorite country of yours, which place or country you would love to travel, I love my India and Germany, look at these whites emerging seeds, which are going to be the strongest attack, black is completely dead lost and do you know a quotation about success. You don't climb a mountain in one leap, take small steps until you reach the top, but in this position I go with rook takes knight first, takes and f6, you can see that the position is completely same. Sometimes painful endings bring the best new beginnings, we saw rook g8 was very painful, so Sia played rook to c8, ok, before I launch an attack by sliding away the bishop, engaging the queen and rook in this h-file, first I played e5 to shut down the position which will be a beneficial thing for end game, and he sacrificed the queen, before that, you might think of saving the queen, let's say queen g1 check, that's good, bishop d1, rook takes knight, sacrificing the rook in order to win the bishop. King runs through a ladder, b4, taken black should sacrifice his rook, he has no other option, exposing the king and give some checks. Your only job is to stop white from playing queen h6 and queen takes h7. That's brilliant, although black will lose the game so back to the position, black trying to rid out from his bad future, and he decided to sacrifice his queen in order to win the rook and knight, now I am completely winning the game believe me or not, Sia played a mind blowing game with me and watch the end game with my beautiful piano music and don't forget to like and subscribe the video. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.